Hi, this is Kayla Murphy from the Fabric Garden in Madison, Maine and FabricGarden.com. I am so happy to be here today with you and thank you so much for joining us. We, I'm going to be doing like a part B of a Christmas uh, holiday specials and things that you can um, do for little gifts and things. So um, I hope you enjoy. First thing I'd like to show you, we, I love to show one of our new quilts that we just did. And you can see right behind me is a beautiful quilt. It's called Craftsman Quilt. It is 67 by 79, so it's a good size quilt. But what makes this quilt so special, I believe, are the fabrics. We are using in the beginning fabrics from uh, Jason Yenta, and they're beautiful, rich jewel tones but they almost look iridescent. So the quilt itself has 15 different fat quarters and then it's sashed and bound in black solid. No border, so it has a nice modern feel to it. And I'm gonna hold this up just so you can kind of see a little bit of the feel of the fabrics in this line and in this quilt. We've had a really nice uh, uh, response to this. Beautiful has a little bit of navy, a little bit of blue, um, rich, rich. Look at this green right here. Rich, rich. So we have 15 different fabrics in the quilt. Nice, rich jewel tones, amber, cinnamon, rust, and into the plums and the purples. My favorite is, because I'm a blue girl, is the this beautiful blue green right in here. So this right here is going to be the Craftsman kit. And the kit we put together very nicely with all 15 fat quarters and the black and the pattern right in there. So this is $99. Very nice. And this is actually what's called an infinity scarf. An infinity scarf is like a circle, but it's got a twist in it. So it's really nice and easy to make. And I'm going to show you what this is. You're always going to have a seam in the middle right down here. So if I'm going to wear this scarf, you just put the seam in the middle. You have like a little twist here. Just take that twist and go right around. Nice and cozy. This is a beautiful infinity scarf. This is $13.99 for the fabric and the free pattern for the infinity scarf. Great for, I don't, I'll say, women and men. You know, there's a nice cozy, cozy scarf. This is made out of a flannel and nice, this is a woven flannel and we have a double face flannel like from Moda too. So I have a couple of different choices because, you know, you need choices when you're accessorizing. This one we're going to call the green, the green black buffalo plaid. So this would choice number green, or letter green B. The next one is a traditional plaid, and I think a lot of you guys might know this one. Cozy, you see it's woven on both sides. This one would be the red. So you're, you would get the kit for the red. Now, these are kind of nice and bright. I want to give you some subtle, subtle choices. Okay, a little more subtle. The next one is Loden, Loden green, old fashioned color, green and black. Very much, you could do a nice subtle plaid. It's a window plaid like that. So this would be color Loden, Loden B, $13.99. How about, think of gingerbread cookies, okay? You need cinnamon. This is color cinnamon. Nice, rich brown, goes with great camel hair, goes with great tan colors. This is going to be the cinnamon color. Cinnamon B, $13.99. Now, kind of a nice new interesting color. You might say, well, it looks almost gray. Well, it's not really gray, it's really plum. So this is a plum and cream plaid. That would be the kit, and this one we're going to call Plum, and it is letter B, Plum, 
quick and easy. When I say you could probably whip these babies up in like 15 minutes, you could. Because we're going to give you a whole straight strip. You're just going to do a seam, twist it, and you're going to have the scarf ready to roll. So I wanted to share this with you because, number one, it's perfect time of year for a nice cozy scarf. But number two, it's a great, quick, either gift or present for someone. So we have this beautiful, nice scarves I showed you. So what's the most newest accessory for 2020? And every one of you guys have at least one, if not more. It's called the mask. We have many people wearing masks to keep us safe, things like that. So what I'd like to show you is, and I've showed this before, but it's been ever so popular, is the mask template. Super easy to use. It has three different sizes in it. It's also very easy. You just have a seam down the center, put a little elastic. The template gives you the different cutout sizes for the masks. Also tells you how much elastic to use. You can rotary cut, so you don't have to worry about scissors or marking or pencils. So, so you might say, Kayla, what size is these? One of my favorite Christmas movies is The Grinch That Stole Christmas. I could watch it year and year and year and year and year ago. So we have a little mask. We have a Cindy Lou Who mask, really little. Then we have a medium mask for the, all the Whoville people. All the Whoville that sing medium size. Last but not least, the Grinch that we love to hate and then love to love. The big size, big, big, big. So three different sizes you can make very simply with the mask. You cut it out. You just have a simple follow, 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 seam down the middle. So this is actually a stocking pattern that comes in two versions. This is what I'll call the large stocking. And one is if you're using all one fabric and you can have your heel, toe, and cuff in another. So we did this in a kind of a funkorama, the red and black with the camo. Or you can also do your patchwork stocking. Nice little hang. So this would be the large size stocking pa pattern. The little stocking, this is letter E, and it's actually regularly $3.99, and we have it for $3.19. So this looks like a cute little stocking. But it's going to be a little stocking that we put a little gifts in, like little stocking stuffers. So this pattern, the little stocking, as I said, was letter E, and it's 319. A needle threader, needle bird threader. This is to thread your regular hand sewing needles, embroidery needles, whatever, not your machine needles. Okay. This is regularly $9.99 and it's $7.99. Comes in a cute come multicolors. And it's a little bird. There we get the bird needle threader. And what happens is you have a little poker on that bird and it's kind of um, stable. And you're going to stick that in the needle. And then there's a little notch on the edge of this wire. And you grab your thread and pull it through. So it's a nice way to thread hand sewing needles. You might have made a project or two for the holidays or for Christmas. And you need to make a nice label. And, you know, if you have an embroidery machine, you can do a nice embroidered label. But if not, you might need a Micron pen. Micron pen are permanent pens that you can put on fabric. They're very fine. You can, I usually uh, tape it down possibly on a sand paper board or just tape it down so you can write quite nicely. So this is the black Micron pen. And it's $2.89. This is letter G as in George. And I'll just show you how nice and fine that can be to write with. So that's another fun little things you can put in your stocking, right like that, is the micron pins. Not a lot to do with sewing, but it's fun. Okay. These right here are RFID wallets, radio frequency identification wallets. So what happens is, you know how some people can scan or look into and get your information on your credit cards and stuff? You can't with this, the outside. You open them up and you have places for your credit card, you know, maybe a little stash of money, 
So two different versions, and these are letter H, and it is the flowers or the butterflies, and they're $13.99. Now you might recognize these designs. These are Laurel Birch designs. She, uh, most of her fabrics came from Clothworks. Very talented designer for many, many years. Really rich, the animals, the flowers, the butterflies. So these are actually her designs. So you have your choice of the flowers. And again, it opens up quite nicely. I'll just click it open. And the butterflies. Who doesn't like chickadees? We love, you know, Maine chickadees. But these are very nice, soft, soft, soft chickadees. So this is actually going to be a quilt kit, an instant quilt kit. And by that I mean there's actually a panel in the middle. So you're not piecing a lot. A panel and borders and binding. So it's really a, quite a quick, easy thing to do um, if you want for time or maybe you're a beginner quilter and you don't want to get overwhelmed with lots of piecing and blocks. So this is the Chickadee Quilt Kit. It's 40 by 56. It's letter I, and it's $44.99. Now I'll show you this nice quilt kit. You're going to see some... I'm going to flip it around this way. There we go. Okay. So you can see right in the middle, right in here, here all the way around. This is actually a panel. It looks like you pieced it, but it's a panel. So you have the birdhouses, the chickadee, the holly. Then we have some three different borders. This is the pale aqua, the soft sage green, and then the black with the gold metallic of the chickadees itself. And then the binding follows back to the green. So this quilt kit is what we call the chickadee quilt kit. And it is $44.99, and it's 40 by 56. And Seal's doing a nice job showing you the details on this quilt. I love the little berry wreath up here. So it has some nice, nice, and it's not just, the other thing that's nice about this is just not just Christmas. It's more of a wintry look, so you can kind of keep it nice, cozy on the couch for a long time. Here we go. So I would like to take the time to just show you two of our very popular models. Now you might have these, you might not necessarily be in the market, but maybe a friend or two is. So I'm going to share one of our most popular machines with you. I'm just going to move this right here. This right here is the model 3160. This machine comes with all your quilting feet, your nice table, so we can take off our accessory tray, put this on, and I'm going to scooch it around a little bit so I can see. And uh, plug it in. So on the 3160, it's 14 pounds. So number one, you're not hauling around a huge machine. A lot of people have this as a first machine or a travel machine in companion with some of the bigger machines there. We do have great features like speed control, needle up, needle down, the locking, and the ever popular cutter, which is really nice to cut the threads. Comes with the table. It does come with a hard cover. But more importantly, it does come with all your quilting feet. Your quarter inch foot, your walking foot, your free motion foot, like that. 60 different stitches, super easy to use. Now, you see I have a walking foot on this machine. This is something that does come with the machine. And I want to take the time to talk about a, a foot that is going to go on all different machines. So I particularly wanted to show you this quilt because if you're a quilter, you need to tack down, either quilt or tack down, your borders or your quilting. 
And a lot of times you might want to stitch in the ditch. Now you've heard that term before. I'm going to put this right here. I made a nice sample to show you. Stitch in the ditch. When you have a quilt and a border, or in a, in, when you have between two fabrics, there's always a little bit of a ridge. I'm going to call that the ditch. So you want to stitch in the ditch right down the middle and hopefully, hopefully, stay in the tunnel or stay in the ditch instead of wobbling back and forth. I'd like to show you a couple of feet that are going to make that a lot easier. This is the walking foot, and a lot of ladies you know would... So this is a walking foot. This is a traditional walking foot. A lot of it comes with this machine. A lot of your seven millimeter machines, this is what you'd be using. And you see that little slit in the back? That slit you can purchase. This is additional, but I love it. This is going to be the ditch quilting guide and adjustable quilting guide. What we're going to do is we're going to take this piece. Now, I put this little green label on it just because you're not going to see the clear. So I put a little green sticker there so you can see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up this bar. Always goes over your needle plant right here because that's how the foot goes up and down. What I'm going to do is put this right like this. I'm going to slide this in and slip this in the middle. And when I snap it in, we now have a, a guide that will run right down the middle of your foot. There. Okay, so it just snapped in right now. So right now, see that, that green guide? When you sew, that's going to ride right in the tunnel because it, it's actually below the foot itself. So that is what's called a stitch in the ditch guide. It allows you nice, easy feeding. And I don't know if this is helping or hindering. I'm going to just take this off for a second. There we go. So this is actually what it looks like. You got a little, little guide right here. So I'm going to just snap that on. And I'm going to snap it right in the... Yeah, that's much better. See, you can see it, my finger's hitting it. Because that guide right there is lower than the walking foot. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to ride right smack in the ditch. So this is a stitch in the ditch guide. The other one that comes with this is going to be an edge guide. And this would snap in. I'll take the little green thing off because I guess I didn't, my idea didn't work too good. But you can snap it in on the right or the left hand side. Right in here. So if you're quilting. And you want to quilt parallel quilting. Okay, you could start sewing and do one row like that, right? Then you can just follow through. I'm starting, on, I, I did, did this wrong, I'm starting here. You sew on this line, match up your spacing, and what I'm really following is right here. That's following, I'm not, I don't care about this, I'm following that line right there. So you can do parallel quilting, right, like that. And you can use it on the right or the left-hand side. So this is kind of a cool foot, a little extra. A lot of people don't, I don't find a lot of people know about it. So that's why I want to show you. It's the Ditch Quilting Guide. And I want to mention also, with all Janome the products, I love this. You see your front, you see your back, you get home, and if you open up the packaging, get great directions in the middle. So what I'm going to show you is my favorite needle. It's fairly new. Well, not new, a couple of years at least. This is the Janome Purple Tip Needle. It sold K for Kayla, because Kayla likes this. These are purple tip needles. They literally have a purple tip. They're excellent for your nine millimeter machines, but also when you're going through layers, with quilting, your batting and your layer, quilting or stippling, but also thicknesses. You know, you're doing those side of masks with the pleats, you go and doing some repairs, heavy duty. 
this is a purple tip needle. It is a size 14. You say, hey, I got a 14. But the tip is different. It will pierce through so much better. So when in doubt, you know, maybe try a, try a little bit of a purple tip needle. You would love them. And we sell here. And we also have this online. And remember how I said with that patterns? Our patterns are 20% off every day. Our threads are 20% off. What we have online, we do have Arafil and the large size Ludeman online. But in the store, threads 20% off. So that's one of our everyday savings that we have. So I put together a little pack. People say, ah, oh, I can't get this thread. It's so expensive. This actually yard for yard is actually cheaper than most of your brand threads. I put together a three pack of Arafil threads. You see how long this thread is, this Arafil thread is? If you put this on your regular spool pin up top and try to put a cone or, or an adapter on it, it doesn't really stick. It, it kind of wobbles. And then you say, how come my tension's off? It's because the thread is not secure. I am going to show you the smallest spool cap, letter M, $1.49. So what happens is I'm going to put I'm going to put this on, and this is what it actually looks like. It looks like a little doodad, I call it, right here. But what happens is when you're using your Arafil threads, you would put them on your post like that, spool sand. Take the whoopsie. I'm gonna put this, take this and put this inside like that, and that will stabilize that thread so it's not gonna wobble like that. So what we're gonna do is just put one on so you can see possibly. And what I'm gonna do is just put this in right like that. Now, right now, we're not moving. We're not moving back and forth, up and down. So that little cap holds the inside of the thread nice and snug. The Janome Memory Craft 6600 and 7700. I don't have one here, but I'm going to talk about this because if you have either of those machines, you have, instead of having a separate walking foot like this, you have the teeth in the back that come down and seat, seat around a foot, right? Your regular AccuFeed foot. And the AccuFeed kind of keeps them in line and it does like your walking foot. You can purchase, if you like the idea of stitching in the ditch with your 6600 or 7700, we can do an AccuFeed foot. So when you put this foot on your machine, now you see this black guide right here? That black guide is, is what's gonna ride smack right down the middle of the ditch. So it's gonna hold, again, it's a little lower than the foot. You can see that it's a little lower. So it slides in and holds right in place. So just the way I was talking about the ditch foot for the seven millimeters, this would be for your 66 and your 77 machine right there. Probably the most common thing I hear when people come in looking at machines, and I'm very happy to help you, I need more space. I need more space. You know that, that commercial that's out there with the mother, the four famous words, because I said so? This in quilting is, I need more space. This is what I hear a lot. So your 3160 is seven inches. Your 6,677 are nine. So this is a very popular machine that we have in the store. And it's actually in stock, which is quite nice. This is the Janome Horizon. Why do we say Horizon? Because we have lots of space. This is the Janome Horizon 8200 Special Edition. So the one thing about...
It's a lot of um, easy way to go from one machine to another. Just all these features that I talked about. Whoop, let me plug her in. Right here. Sure. So we have the same features we talked about on the, the um, speed control, the needle up, needle down, the locking stitch, the stop start so you can run it without your foot pedal, and the cutter. Love, love, love the cutter. So we have easy access to your stitches. We also have, watch this. You know how you lift your presser foot up? And now you got to shove something under there. you got your quilt with your binding. This has lock third height. By that I mean I can lock that foot up to be able to seat my fabric or my project and then roll it. It does come with a knee lift. I just don't have it plugged in right now. So the third lock tight. I'm going to take my foot off for a second. This opening, this is what I've been talking about, 7 millimeter, 9 millimeter. This is a 9 millimeter opening. The feed dogs are wider, so I can do wider decorative stitches. The other thing is your feet, if I, I'm going to scoot up in here for a second, I'm going to get my quarter inch foot. You guys know about this. It's not a narrow quarter inch foot like you see on your 3160. It's wider. So when I use this foot, it's going to ride on all my teeth much more secure, holding better. So that's what a lot of that 9 millimeter that we're talking about makes um, a lot of sense. So you do have a free arm, which is kind of nice, easy, running around, get good stitches, lettering. But probably the next thing I want to show you that I love is I'm going to pull out my, my throat plate, my, sorry, my uh, free arm. And you see another throat plate. If you are sewing, right now, um, you, this is, has the utility plate on for your zigzag, for your decorative stitches and things. But if you want precision with your quarter inch, how many people say, I hate the way my fabric shoves down that hole, meaning the big hole? This is what's called a single needle plate. You have an opening over here on the side, very small, very small. That's what's going to line up with your quarter inch foot. So you have a little, little opening, more precision. So you're going to get better seaming and better feeding. Now, you don't see any screws here, do you? No. So you're not screwing and everything. So right here is a little lever. If I wanted to go from my utility plate to my single needle plate, all I do is pop that baby off. Pop on, pop off plates. There's two little hooks right here. And I line it up, pop it down. Easy as that. Well, so now you're set up for, you got a question? Yeah. What, what is this thing? No, 11. I'm 11. sorry. This is an 11 inch opening on this machine. So this is the first level 11 inch opening that we have. We also have the 9450, which is 11 inches. And then we do have the beautiful M7, the newest Continental M7, which has 14 inches of space. So we have quite a range. So this is the memory craft 8200 special edition because the throat plate has those openings for the quarter inch seam and it does come with the quarter inch foot it does come with your accu feed foot which is why i wanted to talk about this i'm going to lift this up for a second and grab this and it does have the true convertible free motion set for, for stippling and that so in a, in a in a, in a long range, we talked about the ditch foot for the 3160, right? We know about that. That's going to be right here. We talked about the ditch foot screw on for the 66 and the 77. Now, when you are in the 9 millimeter world, this is actually an AccuFeed foot that hooks in the back of the machine. And the teeth, again, are integrated, so they're feeding from the top. Beautiful quilting feet. This is a wide opening, so if you want to do your decorative things. But let's say you say, Kayla, I want to do that ditch, but I have these, this foot. This is going to be on your 7700s, your 8900s, your 9400s. So quite a different machines like this. So watch this. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is 
nine millimeter stitch AccuFeed foot. So the nine millimeter machines, you got a wider opening, they're gonna hook on differently. So I'm gonna show you this. So this is what comes with the machine, the regular foot like that, the, what I would call a nine millimeter opening utility. But you want that nice guide. You want that guide that's gonna follow right in that ditch, okay? So how are we gonna do this? Very simple. We are going to, and I'm just going to move this out of the way here so I can get a little closer. Your foot, these bases pop on and off very easily. What I do is I hold the base and I'm going to pull the foot down. Pops right off. Okay. If you see, there's actually little pins in there, these two little metal pins. I call these, it's not very technical, but this is what I call them, these ski traps. These little right in here, this ivory slot right there. What I'm going to do is go down and up, and I'm going to lock those pins in. So this is what comes with the machine. You want to put on a very easy ditch foot. So what I'm going to do is um, the teeth, your feed dog teeth, go in the tracks right here, right? And I'm just going to slide it up, and you are in. Now what's beautiful about this is if you had this AccuFeed on your machine, you could change these bases while the foot is on the machine. So you can go from regular to ditch very quickly. So again, I have this on my machine. I just pull down. And what I'm going to do is just slide in and up. And very popular this year. Or no, not this year, every year. We sell gift certificates, any amount, no expiration. Um, we have a lot of people come in the store and purchase them. You can purchase them online now on our fabricgarden.com website. And you can purchase them two ways. You can purchase the gift certificate for someone that's going to use it in the store, or you can purchase a gift certificate to use online. So we have two types. You can do either in-store or online. So it's a really nice way if you're, um, you know, want to ask for a gift or sending a, a nice gift to a friend of yours or a quilting friend. We have our fabric garden gift certificates. But now year, to be a little more serious, you know, we are at the end of a year. We're, we're at the end of a very, you know, you can't say it's been an easy year. You know, a lot of people have been having a hard time. I want to say thank you so much for everyone that supported us this year. But more importantly, I know some of you ladies out there have been with us since the beginning, 42 years ago, when Aunt Mari, Beth, and I started the store. We've had people, just the relationships is, are so wonderful. So I want to say thank you to everyone that has supported us, whether it's in the store, online. Um, we definitely value you. We love to hear your comments. And I just want to say thank you. I, I'm very blessed to be doing what I love to do, you know, even though it's funny, I, I think of this as like, you know, it's the same store we had, you know, 42 years ago, but it evolves, it changes, and I really enjoy it. And I enjoy, hopefully, sharing what I know and what we know. You know, my, uh, my ladies are terrific. I would not be here without them. I say kudos every day. So I want to just say thank you because we all need a little time to enjoy whether it's together or through digitally or whatever. But we will be all be here next year together. Thank you so much.